What is going on everybody? It's Taylor Roberts and welcome to Off the Deep End. We're in the middle of a Madonna deep dive where we are exploring her artistry and creativity through her music, music video, and performances, which means new Madonna reactions until we reach the end of her discography. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button so you get notification of when new videos drop here on this channel. Today we are going to be checking out Erotica, the title track music video from her album erotica now i did a reaction to erotica and you can find that right up there if you want to check that out or if you would like to start the whole deep dive from the very beginning i will leave a link down in the description to that as well but guys let's go ahead and jump right into the video That bass really just draws you in, huh? Hmm. Okay, we're just getting right into it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can already tell. I, you know, we've been exploring how Madonna has always been pushing boundaries, it seems, through every single era that we've checked out. She's done something that just, you know, wants to push some buttons as far as what's accepted in society at the moment. And Erotica was definitely an album that pushed a shit ton of buttons. But now looking at this music video... I mean, we've seen edgy music videos from Madonna before, but I mean, come on. I mean, within the first five seconds, we're already looking at two people getting ready to hook up in an office chair. <laughs> she just gets right to the point. She doesn't waste any time doing it. Like, just all the imagery in here. Once you put your hand in the flame, you can never be the same. There's a certain satisfaction in a little bit of pain. My God. I can see you understand. Tell me you're the same. If you're afraid of a rise of love, I only hate the ones I love. Holy shit! I mean, the imagery that she's using here, everything is erotic about it. It's either nude bodies or it's... She's got everything. She's got orgies. She's got nude bodies. She's got same-sex uh, make-out sessions, sex sections, everything... I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's all of the topics and taboos that everybody fucking deals with on a regular day basis or has fantasies about, but nobody ever talks about it here in America because we're so just like closed down about it. But this is Madonna bringing everything up in the forefront, in the mainstream, in the 90s. The 90s. Look at that. Just a little, a little bunny, bunny tail. Erotica. G. 
Jesus, man. <laughs> I can't get over the little moans. I don't think you've gone that way. I could bring you so much pleasure. I'll come to you when you say, I know you want me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just close your eyes. You seriously, you got so many. I feel like I'm being brainwashed. <laughs> That's what it feels like. This is definitely, I probably shouldn't have paused it where I paused it, but this is definitely a brainwashing video, right? It has to be. It's got to be. I mean, the song itself is hypnotizing. I remember when I heard it for the first time on the album, I was like, this is like a trance. This song puts you in a trance. And now you're watching the music video, and it's just flashing you with all these imagery, all these images of, of sex and erotic images. And it's, it's like Madonna is trying to brainwash society to be like look this shit is okay and i am 100 for it let's brainwash the fuck out of people that actually might be a terrible idea i don't know why i stopped it there i didn't realize it was ending <laughs> That was a very abstract, uh, artistic video. Definitely the most probably abstract video I've seen Madonna make at this point in her career. But at the same time, Erotica is the most abstract album she's ever made in her career. Again, pushing the boundaries. Everything that is being shown in this video, what she's talking about in the song, it's taken it up a notch from the Like a Prayer era, definitely. And, and for this video to be in a mainstream viewership, it's, 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 it's there for it to, to be a message. It has to be. I don't see this video being anything other than some sort of subliminal messaging that she was trying to get out. Um, just the way the video is put together and spliced together and edited and, and all of that stuff. You know, her, she's trying to get a message out here with this video and I feel like that message was received probably negatively, but secretly positively. The idea of, of the impacts that these videos were making at that time, but I so wish I do. And I, sometimes I wish just kind of in this journey that I was there at the time this came out just to see you know, what was going on in the world, what people were saying about it, all of that stuff. Um, so, I mean, unfortunately, I wasn't there at the time to to be in the middle of the shit, but I, I can kind of piece it together here now going through it for the first time. Let me know your guys' thoughts about the video, what you like, what you dislike about the video. Make sure you leave those down 
in the comments. Remember to like the video, share the video, guys. If you would like to check out the other music videos from the erotica era, I will be posting them on my Patreon for $5 a month. You can get early access to deep dive album reactions, a whole bunch of Madonna reaction content, and much more. And it helps support the channel, it helps support me to be able to do these deep dives. So go and check that out. There's a link in down in the description. There is also, if you're a Madonna fan and wanna see what reactions are up on Patreon at the moment there, if you go to the community tab, there is a full list of all the Madonna reactions available on Patreon. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notification of when new videos drop here on this channel. And that is all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate your support, guys. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you then.